So here I have my uh, two Flubo 15 aquariums uh, side by side as you can see. I uh, just wanted to show you the differences between the two, one running with a sponge filter and the other one with the um, factory setting which is a baffle and filtration system in the back. So there's a compartment in the back for, um, for these units. And uh, I just started using sponge filters not long ago, um, probably a year or two ago. And I started using them because I kept hearing how good they were. And uh, not knowing about it, I, you know, I've been, I've been keeping fish for over 40 years at this point. And uh, I've never really thought a sponge filter was good uh, or a good filtration system. Uh, as you can see, there, the one to the left there is the one with the sponge filter. And the one to the right is the uh, stock, the uh, aquarium. So there's basically uh, no modifications. Um, as you can see both look very good this one here is uh, let me turn the light off see if it helps with the reflection um, this one here is the uh, female and fry guppy guppy tank um, the water is crystal clear I haven't changed the water in maybe two weeks I do it like maybe once a month or once every month and a half. There is plants in there, so nitrates are never a problem. And the sponge filter back there, I haven't cleaned it since this tank has been running. Uh, so it's been like maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna guess about four months. Maybe four months, so. Uh, but you can see how good of a job it does. Um, this other one here is my male guppy tank. And all the males um, are there together. It's a uh, sand substrate, ballastin area. Um, and there's other um, plants there. I forget their name. I'm not good with plants or names. But um, I keep all my freshwater tanks have plants, um, anubias and java ferns are two of my favorites. These are anubias up here, and java ferns down here, vallisneria. Um, the fries have places to hide, so the tanks. Um, it's set up that way. So if the females keep having babies, uh, as you can see, there's there's a few of them. Um, they have a place to hide because the females, the adults, do want to eat the babies, especially when they're tiny. Uh, these are already a few weeks old, uh, the ones you see swimming around. Uh, once I know the, what they are, uh, as soon as I can see whether they're male or females, I change them around, I put them somewhere else. But well, mainly these are my uh, two guppy tanks. Um, but I wanted to show you how effective a sponge filter is. Uh, I did this to this tank as an experiment and because I wanted more real estate uh, front to back um, without having uh, that baffle there, that compartment uh, for the filtration, um, you gain another couple inches. So I like I like that, and eventually, as I said before in other videos, I'll probably do the same thing to this other one here. And you can see the difference uh, when you have the the uh, baffle in place. Um, it cuts off maybe two and a half inches front to back. It's not a big deal, but 
um, I like it the other way better. And if you have a, a sponge filter uh, for these tanks, it works perfectly. I don't know that I would recommend it for anything bigger than 150 gallons or something like that, but anything, even 125 gallons, you can have two big sponge filters running on each side of the tank and you probably get a good filtration out of it. Of course, it all depends what kind of fish you're keeping. If you're keeping a very messy fish, then not so much. Um, but, um, and if you're not keeping a planted tank, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors. It's a lot of things to think about. But yeah, these filters, they work great, people. All you need is one of these things. This was rated for a 60 gallon tank. And I'll put my hand there so you can see how big it is. It's not that big. As you can see. And all you do is you put airline tubing through here, air pump, bubbles start coming out like you see. And it causes us uh, causes that suction and the water to go through the uh the sponge uh, where the beneficial bacteria will live and uh, where all the dirty stuff all the stuff floating around the tank will, will go to so again just wanted to show you side by side both of these tanks have been running about the same time uh, they were set up around the same time um, they were put on this stand that I had uh, refinished and I made it specifically for these two tanks. I do like the the Fluoflex uh, tanks a lot. I think they're a great little unit. I like their shape. I like that cube shape with the uh, uh, the curved uh, front part, you know. Uh, it's uh, It makes it look nice. It's a nice tank to have somewhere uh, in the living room if you wanted to. Uh, built in everything, built in light. Uh, you have, if you leave it alone, you can hide all the, uh, the heaters and everything in the back, uh, like the one on the, on the right. Um, but again, that doesn't bother me. I prefer a little bit more room for the fish. And that's the reason why I'll probably end up doing the same thing to the one on the right as I did to the one on the left. Uh, great little setup for fries. If, you, if you're keeping small fish, um, they tend to swim swim into the uh, the back, to the uh, where the baffle, all of the filtration is, uh, to that compartment in the back. Uh, I've had them where even if you put uh, uh, sponges or a mesh or something sometimes it doesn't work or sometimes it falls off or whatever they end up back there somehow so uh, with small fish you want to you your filtration uh, needs to be uh, something where they cannot get sucked in so that's uh, the sponge filter is perfect for that um, I've been keeping fish for uh, quite a while on and off and uh, this is my first time, I, I think, keeping fancy guppies. I've had them for maybe a couple years already. And uh, great little fish to have. Um, you just gotta be careful where you put them, uh, how, you, how you pair them up. I mean, as you can see, I have one side full of males and the other side is where the females are. And uh, they can hold, uh, the sperm of the males in their system for up to nine months from what I've read so they can keep having babies for a while even if they're not with the males uh, so uh, they don't last more than a couple years they last two or three years if you if you maintain the tanks and you provide them with clean water and stuff um, I had some of the females you see there uh, the one there coming to the front She's probably about two years old. Now you can see a younger one right, right around her. Um, she's about a, probably a year old. Uh, that yellow one that you see there on top, that's not even a year old yet. Just like the other one. 
So um, they'll start reproducing and fill your tanks with babies if you're not careful. So very pretty fish, but you do have to be careful how you house them. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you this video. Um, these two uh, exact or, or similar tanks, I should say, they're not exact. Um, but very different filtration system and they're both doing great I prefer the one on the left with the, uh, the sponge filter so if you don't think sponge filters are worth it uh, think again because uh, I mean they do work just get the one the one for the right size for your tank um, the ones that are uh, that I have running on that one uh, to the left there is rated for up to I believe 40 gallons and that's a 15 gallon tank so if you're gonna go that way that route I would say get one that's a little bigger made for a slightly bigger tank or double maybe I would say double size uh, what your tank is um, so uh, again you 15 gallons get one that's at least for rated for up to 30 gallons or if not 40 gallons they're just going to get bigger and bigger that's all so this one here is 60 so it does take a little bit more room um i believe um, it's like five and a quarter inches diameter and it's probably about six inches on the sponge side up to the this this area here it's about six inches high this makes it about maybe eight inches high altogether so in a small tank it wouldn't look too good uh, but if you set it up in a in a bigger tank maybe like a 29 gallon or or um or something like a 40 gallon uh, this filter right here will work just fine um, i have sponge filters running on all my tanks um, I'm sorry, I take that back. On most of my tanks, I don't have it running on my 75 yet, but um, eventually I will. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you got something good out of this video. Bye for now.